In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a simple self-grading form using a, a Google Forms and a, a Flubrew script. I started using this about six to eight months ago, and uh, and I think it's great. It has some, some great uh, analytic tools uh, along with it, and you can keep everything into your Google Drive folder if that's what you use for documents and assessments. So, all right, so to create one, it's uh, to start out, you just go to Create in your Google Drive and then go down to Form. I already created a, a quick self uh, sample self-grading form here. I like to just have them put their name and, and email if they want. There's actually an option in Fluber so that you can uh, have them uh, have their score sent to them through email. So you can put that. I, I make it an optional question, though. I don't make it required. And then I have them put their period of the class there in. Again, that's up to you. And then a couple sample questions. Obviously, you'd put anything that you, you would have in here in the multiple choice section. Uh, we're just going to do this for the sample uh, for this video. Okay, once you're done uh, creating your form, you'll click Choose Response Destination. Okay, I just create a new spreadsheet uh, with the same name, title, responses. Now this is where all your grades are going to end up once people take that, uh, take the test or take the quiz. Okay, the next step you're going to do is go to the live form just to see what it looks like, but also to, to test it out and create your answer key. All right, so we're going to do that. We're going to go to live form. I like to just name it key. Put my email address in there. And then this is where you would put the right answers to your to your questions. Okay, so we're just going to do options one, two, and three. And this is important. You have to make the key because without it, then the script isn't going to know exactly what uh, the right answers are. Okay, so let's go to see our responses. So if you go back to your drive, it should have two different forms now, the form itself and then the spreadsheet with the answers in it. Okay, so right now this is what you have. You have the response that I put in uh, the, uh, the answer key. Okay, so now what you have to do is go to uh, create a script. Okay, so to do that, you're going to go up to script gallery, and you're going to type in the search bar, put in Flubaroo, F-L-U-B-A-R-O-O. -O. Okay, once you search for that, it'll come up. You're going to install that into your uh, document. Once you install it once, it comes up every time. You don't have to do this uh, each time you open this document. Okay, once this pops up, you're going to click authorize. So now you can run the script and it is installed. Okay, so now when you look at the top of this menu, you're going to see a Flubrew option. And it's going to say grade assignment. Okay, before we do that, let's just put a couple more sample uh, assignments in there. Okay, some people make the mistake of sharing the spreadsheet. You actually need to share the Google form itself. Okay, so when you go to the form, you're going to click view live form. This is the link that you're going to send people. Um, so we have this open. Let's just do a couple sample student responses. So we'll do sample student one, period B. We'll say they got first two right and then got the third wrong. We'll submit. Okay, we'll submit another response. Call it sample student two, period C. We'll say they got all of them wrong. I'll submit another response. Third student, so we get the point. Say one, two, one. Okay, so now you have a few different responses uh, from your students. Now, you don't have to wait until the end to, to create your key uh, or to, to run the group, uh, Flubrew script, but there's really no reason to run it until you have some student submissions because there's going to be nothing to grade. Okay, so let's go back to our form here. Okay, these are our responses. Now we have the key, sample student one, two, and three with our grades. Now when I first started doing this, I would actually have to go through and, and see exactly what each submission was. Uh, but you don't have to do that with the Flubrew script. You just click up here and click on grade assignment. Now this is important. What you have to do is designate which responses are just identification for the student and which ones are actual points. And you can also scale it based on one to five points or to skip certain questions altogether. Now the first three things they enter, the name, the email, and the period, aren't going to be graded. If you put one point for them, it's actually going to assume that it's wrong if it doesn't say exactly name, email, and period. So you want to choose the grading option, identify student. Then you want to put one point, or however you want to scale this for your sample questions. The next step is you have to identify the key. Okay, so the key I just named key, but uh, you can name it whatever you want as long as you can identify which one of these responses is the answer key. 
Okay, after that, it's grading says complete. You're going to view your grades, and you're gonna see that there's two tabs now. There's the student submissions tab in the spreadsheet. There's also the grades part of the spreadsheet. This is where you're gonna get your information on what their score was, but also how your class did. So up at the top here, it says points possible. There were three. It says the score of the average was a 1.3. Three submissions and one really low score. Okay, then you can see what the students got. Percent correct. Um, Okay, for student one got a 66%, student two got a zero, student three got a 66. It says how many times they submitted. Then also it does an, an item analysis, which is nice. So that, you know that two out of the three students got the first one, the second one, and then nobody got the third question right. And typically if it's a low scoring response or low scoring question, it will highlight it in yellow for you so you can get a good idea of what it looks like. Okay, hope that helps. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me on my email or on Twitter. All right, take care. Have a good day.